So another cool thing that the kites allow you is the ability to lift baits in the air and actually reposition your spread. Let's say I'm fishing on it like today on a south wind and I'm sitting at 150 feet of water. My shallowest bait might be 140 and my deepest might be 160. If I have north current and a sailfish is free jumping into the current going south and I see him in there maybe 120 feet, if I have enough wind like I do today, I can actually lift my baits in the air, move the boat at a 45 degree angle inshore on the reef and get my boat in position to be, you know, 125, 130 feet of water. 120, drop my baits, and now get ahead of that fish. So maybe he jumped straight in shore me. I'm gonna go southwest and get ahead of him, put my baits in front of him, and they pretty much march into the current, almost like a trout in a river. You know, if you look at a river and you see trout laying in the river, they're almost always nose into the current. Sailfish are very much like that. Dolphin do it offshore too. You'll see schools of dolphin just swimming straight south into the current off Miami. So. You can use the kites to your advantage in a lot of ways. You know, we've, we've talked about already, you know, being able to shake the weed off, being able to, to lift a bait in the air while you're fighting a fish. There's so many advantages that the kites give you that make you more effective. And that's why kite fishing has been such a great tool over the years. I've actually fished in two tournaments, uh, one in the early 80s and one in the early 2000s that banned kite fishing. And they basically said it was unsportsmanlike, basically. So, you know, what happens is, really you get a group of guys that are really good at flying two kites in an area, and maybe in a tournament in an area where they're not typically doing that. A lot of times it's so effective that, you know, it almost becomes an unfair advantage. People ask me, you know, kite fishing such a pain in the neck, you know, is it really worth it? And I say it is, if you can become proficient at it. The most important thing to remember is that you should always fly the number of baits that is appropriate for your experience level. So when you first start out, it's one kite, one bait. Basically don't get any more complicated than that. Try to drift some baits on the upwind side, try to learn how to fly a kite, no lead, put a balloon on it and get a kite airborne. And at that point, try to sneak a bait out. Now you have baits on inshore side or downwind side and the upwind side of you. So you've just broadened your coverage. And eventually you'll put a second bait and a third bait and then someday you'll fly two kites. And it's really, you know, all of us had to walk before we ran. So it's really just a, uh, a lot of building blocks. You know, you just learn how to do the basics and then you just build on that. And in time, you learn to take advantage of all these things that kite fishing give you. And it, it just it just takes time and patience. You might want to you know be careful what you say when things go bad because there's a lot of frustration involved many times. You know you, it's just things go bad and it's usually about not understanding a few little basics. I'll give you an example. If you put a kite out and it had a little salt on it, well that salt is going to cause the wind to blow through that kite at a different rate depending on where the salt is and where the salt is not. And that kite's gonna spin. And you could blame your mate all day long for not knowing how to fly a kite, but it's really your fault because you didn't know that the kite was dirty or you didn't clean it or notice that a wave hit one corner of that kite with salt, it got put away, dried, you didn't see it later. So there's just a lot of those little things. Like we talked about, you know, bridle adjustment, leads, where the bridle is, you know, long, you know, go as long as you can until it gets unstable and then shorten it. You know, all those little things will really help make kite fishing not frustrating and really more effective, you know, make you a more effective fisherman.